homeless service agencies, to foundations, to the county and the city working together. The initiative's called The Way Home. It's all about, instead of managing homelessness, worrying about what the symptoms are, well, let's get to the root cause, and it's about housing. Because right. so many people think the solution is just put somebody, naively we think, just put somebody in a home. That, that addresses homelessness, right? right? But no, you have to get to the root cause, as you mentioned. What puts someone on the streets? And there's all kinds of reasons. But um, a lot of these organizations are not reinventing the wheel. They're just taking care of one of the spokes in the wheel, if you will. Um, for example, an organization that can say, are you dealing with mental health issues and just need to access your medication? How do you do that when you're living on the streets? You're exactly right. But you know, you gotta even back up. Before we folks said, how can we help the homeless? It was, let's give them food, let's give them handouts. I have never heard of a bologna sandwich or spare change getting somebody off the street. So now we're really focused on housing and those supportive services you mentioned. Two oh, of them together is, is what no makes success. It's a, we've been able to get 15,000 homeless individuals off the streets of Houston permanently since 2012. And permanently is the key, because for some homeless people, uh, their housing for a minute was the jail. Right. You're exactly right. So for us, it's about permanent housing. And we, I mean, we really concentrate on data. And we want to see how many are still housed six months, how many are still housed eight months, a year, two years. And we found that 80 to 90 percent of our homeless individuals stay housed a year after being placed in that housing, but it's because of the supportive services that's offered to them. Yeah, because it is almost impossible without help to get back on your feet once you're on the streets. Uh, if you got some money and wanted to go sign a lease someplace, how do you sign a lease when you don't have the history or you broke a lease before? You're right. The, the folks who are um, homeless, especially those that are the most vulnerable, have very challenging backgrounds. Anybody can tell you, you have evictions, you have broken leases, you have criminal background histories. It can be almost impossible to find housing, but let, put that on top of serious mental health or substance abuse issues makes it even harder. And that's where the way home comes in, to help those individuals who have been on the streets for an extended period of time and are suffering from a disability. You know, even though we are leading the nation in housing the homeless, we are not resting on our laurels. And so Houston, like Every major city out there still has a homeless issue. It, we do. But we got to make sure we realize where we've come from. And so although we've cut homelessness in half since 2011, we still are going further. And that's what Mayor Sylvester Turner is really about, is saying, how can we go that extra mile and do even more? Yeah, and of course, the impact of Harvey didn't help. It didn't help at all. And what we found for the first time in seven years, homelessness actually increased in Houston and Harris County. Uh, it, it increased by only 8%. Uh, the rest of the state was between 5 or 12. And we were really the only major city to be affected by Harvey. We found out that 20% of the homeless on the streets are homeless because of Harvey, and 50% of those who are first-time homeless are homeless because of Harvey. So hopefully this is, a, you know, just a blimp in the, in the map of reducing homelessness in Houston. We're going to house more than we ever have before. We're going to continue re reducing homelessness in Houston. I just got back from California not long ago, and you saw it everywhere. You, you know, it's right outside on people's sidewalks and things, and we're not quite at that point yet. But uh, with that said, we drive by, and you see the pup tents. You see them underneath bridges. You see them kind of, you know, right next to, to neighborhoods. And that concerns a lot of people. Right, and, and it should. Any, but anytime we see a homeless person on the streets, it should concern us from what are we doing and what can we do to help these individuals out. It shouldn't concern us that these individuals are threatening to us. You know, most homeless individuals are much more likely to be a victim of a crime than ever commit a crime. And yes, just like in the general population, there are some bad apples. Uh, but by and far, most of them are not, and we should respect them with dignity, and we should all come together and work on how we can permanently get them off the streets through housing. Coming up, it starts out with simple gestures, a meal, a place to take a shower, a place to wash your clothes. It's that beacon of light that can connect the homeless to a more stable life off the streets.